Hello again. This tutorial is for a little gingerbread man, um, little gingerbread person. Um, it's done in double knit yarn with a four millimeter hook, and you can use them to hang on the Christmas tree, or I've used mine to embellish a, a Christmas blanket that I'm making. I'm using a four millimeter hook and double knit yarn, but you would be able to do this design in. A thicker or a thinner yarn as long as you adjust the hook size so if you were going to do a bigger one in a worsted weight you would need to go up to a, a 5 or a 5.5 millimeter hook so we're going to start with a magic ring and you can do this however you prefer to do your magic ring um, I have a method that I use um, so I'll do my magic ring the way that I usually do so I just wrap the yarn around two fingers and just catch hold put the hook under the first catch the second and then work a stitch so we're going to start with two chain and that's going to count as the first double and then we need to do another nine doubles into the ring if you don't want to do the magic ring, you can make a, a chain of three or four and just slip stitch to join and then do your doubles into the ring that you've formed. It doesn't really matter. So I'll just do the nine doubles. And if you're not familiar with a, a double, it's yarn over into the ring, pick up a loop, yarn over pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'll just do... Oops. I'll pull that a little bit. The reason that I've used a magic ring is that it does tend to pull the um, the work a little bit tighter, but you do need to remember to fasten off the tail of yarn really well because they do have a tendency to come undone. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we pull tight to close the ring, and we're going to slip stitch into the top of the third chain. And this is working the body. Then chain seven. And in the third chain from the hook, which is this one, we're going to do one double. We're now going to work one double in each of the next four chains. There's one, <clears throat> two, three, and four. And that's created the first leg. We then skip the next chair uh, the next stitch and we're going to slip stitch into the next one and then we're going to repeat what we've just done here which is seven chain and double into the third chain followed by four doubles in the remaining chain so one two three four five six seven the third chain from the hook is where we place the first double and then one double in each of the next four chain don't forget you can pause the video if you need time to catch up <clears throat> 
Again, we're going to skip this next chain here and slip stitch into the next one. We've now got a body and two legs. We're going to do five chain and again we're going to do a double into the third chain from the hook and one double in each of the next two chains. And there we've created the first arm. We skip the next stitch and slip stitch into the following stitch. We're now going to slip stitch through the next two stitches. So we just pull up the loop and pull it through. There's one. Pull up a loop, pull it through, there's two. We're now going to do five chain <coughs> and double crochet into the third chain from the hook as before and one double in the two remaining chains. We then skip a stitch and we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off the yarn. Pull through to fasten off the stitch. So we've now got the body, the two arms and the two legs. <clears throat> We're now going to do the same again with a magic ring. Or again if you want to do the chain, um, either a three or four chain to form a ring by slip stitching um, together. So again we do two chain which is going to count as the first stitch <clears throat> this time we're going to do 12 all together 12 doubles into this ring so we've already got the one there that's the three chains so we do another 11 just have to put that a little bit smaller One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven and twelve. So we pull the ring to close. And again, we're going to join into the top of the three chain that we started. So that's the head complete. Just snip off the yarn, leaving a, a tail so that you can sew the head to the body and pull tight. <clears throat> we're now going to stitch the head to the body onto the two stitches that we slip stitched in on the previous part. So I'm just going to thread a darning needle and 
and just stitch the two together. And then fasten off the yarn at the back and you can snip that one off. I'll wait until I've <clears throat> worked these ends in before I snip those off. So there's the body of the gingerbread man. So now we need to add some buttons. So just using black yarn or whatever colour yarn you want to use and at the back just catch the yarn in securely. And for the buttons I just use a, a bullion knot and I'll show you how to do that. <clears throat> so you bring the yarn up from the back and then holding the yarn we're going to work a figure of eight around the needle. So from right to left we catch the yarn and then we're going to go over the top so that we've got a figure of eight and put the needle back through, pull tight and then just gently, oops, it's gone right through that one. Just gently pull the needle through, being careful not to pull it all the way through and that will create a little bobble. And we're going to do that three times. So one, will form into the middle so from back to front and I'll show you again how to do the bullion stitch it's from right to left to catch the yarn and then over to form a figure of eight back into your work and pull through gently from the back and that will form the next little bobble stitch. <clears throat> if you find it easier to do a French knot you could use French knots here but I'm not very uh, very good at doing French knots. So the third button again the needle goes right to left wrap around the top to form a figure of eight. Put the needle back in, pull through gently and there you've got the three buttons. So we now just fasten off the yarn again at the back. Make sure that you do this quite securely and snip off. For the mouth, <clears throat> I'm just using a, a red and this time at the back of the head we just need to catch the yarn down securely Oops, not very secure at all that one And at the front, I'm just going to form a smiley face, which is just one stitch to one side, back to the starting point and a stitch up to the other side. And that's going to form a smile. Fasten off the yarn securely at the back. And 
I do the eyes the same way as the um, the buttons, just using a white yarn. <coughs> So again, with the downing needle, I'm going to just catch the yarn at the back. If you wanted to make these as little um, padded Christmas tree ornaments, you could do two exactly the same and then sew them together and put a little bit of stuffing in and then all of the back is going to be hidden anyway. The same if you're using it as a motif for um, a garment or a blanket. So for the knot you just come from the back to the front. The needle catches the yarn from right to left and then we wrap over the top to form that figure of eight again. Put the needle back from front to back and pull through gently and that forms the little knot and the same again at the other side for the second eye. So right to left to the figure of eight, back in and pull through gently from front to back and there we've got the eyes. Again we need to fasten the yarn off securely at the back. And snip off the end. So there we've got the completed little gingerbread man. If you want to do the border that goes all the way around, <clears throat> you would do that as a surface, um, a surface stitch. And I'll just show you how I do this. I would work as close to the edge as possible. If you're going to use this as a, a motif, I actually do the surface stitch through the motif and through the item that I'm putting it on as well but for this I'm just going to do it um, onto the gingerbread man itself so you just double over the yarn and pull up a loop and just keep hold of that at one side and then we go into the next stitch pick up from the back and pull through again from the back and pull through and just work that same stitch all the way around quite close to the edge so it's just like a, a slip stitch but working from the back of the work up to the front <clears throat> and just pulling each loop through and we just carry on all the way around with a surface stitch and then when you get round to the very end I'm going to snip off the yarn and I'm going to thread that through the needle, pull up a, a loop and come from the back to the front from where we started and I'm going to catch the loop of that last stitch and then just go back into the first stitch so that it finishes off the um, the surface stitching and again I'm going to just fasten off and secure 
the yarn at the back and then snip off. So there we have the little gingerbread man. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, a little bit of Christmas fun. Uh, do subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.